finally. This video is brought to you by The Office Tatum Store. The Office Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live or make a video. Y'all know what it is. Let's get into this. Finally, finally, I met Donald Trump. Finally, I was able to shake his hand and say thank you for all that you've done for us in this country. I didn't say the stuff that I was mad at him about. I will save that for another day. But I said, thank you. I'll tell you a little bit about what I said to him. But I just want y'all to see proof because, you know what, you can just say stuff. But this is proof. This is me and this is Trump at the UFC fight. So I was there. Whole bunch of celebrities there. It was a pretty cool time. You know, I don't take pictures with people typically. You know, Dana is my brother, man. I, I love Dana White. So I, I, I'll i take a picture with Dana White or somebody like that. I met some really cool guys there. However, the only person I want to take a picture with is Donald Trump. So Donald Trump came. We were sitting right behind Donald Trump, not too many seats behind. Um, he came in like a rock star. Everybody was cheering. USA. You know, y'all know how it goes. So I'm going to tell y'all how I end up seeing I end up getting a chance to shake his hand, talk to him, and do the selfie. So I'm sitting there, man. I'm talking to, uh, I'm talking to my homeboy, uh, Taylor, that I brought with me. Uh, we just having a good time. Trump comes in. The two fights go. Everybody waiting in line to shake his hand, and they, they're kind of going through Section A, which is kind of like the VIP section. And so everybody's going through, and I say, man, I'm, I'm not going to – I'm probably not going to – uh, go up to him, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be running all over everybody to do this. I'm not doing it. Then after the last fight, right before Conor McGregor, I said, you know what? Right before Conor McGregor, I'm going to go say what's up to him. So shout out to my brother Dana, Dana White, because as soon as Trump was talking, Dana White and I saw each other, and I was like, what's up? I wasn't even thinking about it. And he was like, oh, Trump, that's Officer Tatum. And so Trump said what's up to me while I was sitting in my seat, and I said, you know what? I'm going to go around there and say what's up to Trump. You know what I'm saying? I, I This is my only opportunity probably in, in in a while. And I've been to the White House six or seven times. And I always take the humble road and say, I'm not going to push over nobody to take a picture with Trump. I'm not going to beg nobody for nothing. I'll get my opportunity. And so I walked around. Secret Service, I already saw that that we were cool. And I walked around. You know, Dana said, what's up? This be Tatum. You know, introduced me. And I said, what's up, Trump? I shook his hand. And I said, Trump, I've been supporting you since 2016. I love what you've done for this country. You know, and I said, I'm, I'm Brandon Tatum. You know, I started Blexit with Candace Owens. And, he, you know, of course he remembers because we did an event in which he addressed us specifically right after he got COVID. He came down to the yard, gave a shout out to Blexit and me and Candace Owens as his friends. You know, so uh, I know he remembered me. And so I just said that and I said, I got to get a selfie with you. I, and I took the selfie and I said, you know, I really appreciate what you've done for this country. You're my president. You're still my president. That's what I said. You, you're still my president. You're our president. And then I walked and took a seat. Now, that was a that was a pivotal point in my life. And, and why do I say that? Because I really have a lot of respect for President Trump. I really like what he's done as a businessman, being able to be be a mogul. I mean, that's pretty much what he is, a real estate mogul. He makes billions of dollars. He got he got the courage of a of a lion. And he's not perfect. And neither am I or anybody else. You know, um, I think God has saved me a long time ago. So a long time, if I'm 70, I think I have more time being saved than he has. And so there's a lot of things that he probably have done over his lifetime that I, that I wouldn't have done. But that's here nor there. Everybody got their own path. But overall, the best president to ever live so far, I think there could be people that can beat him. But I think so far, the best president that we've had has been Donald Trump, a man of his word, doing exactly what he said he was going to do, strong, bold, Making it putting America back on the map. And if they weren't, they impeached him twice. And if they weren't trying to kill him every day, then he would probably have accomplished 20 times as much as he, he, he was able to accomplish. So a shout out to Tom, Donald Trump, man. I appreciate you. Um, thank you what you've done for our country. I really wish you were still in, in the Oval Office. The brain dead, see now, old oh man. I don't understand how he's even walking on his own at this point. Um, I'll give a little bit of extra because this is obviously about Trump, but the Conor McGregor fight was pretty interesting. Uh, I was there. I saw the whole thing. I saw his ankle take a, take a turn for the worse, uh, literally. And uh, they were talking all the trash. And I'm just going to give my synopsis about Conor McGregor. You know, I like him because I like people that are very confident. But I think he was more, more than just confident. He was arrogant and disrespectful. And so that's why I like that um, homeboy beat him up pretty good. I want to say his name, but I feel like I'm going to say his name wrong. Wrong. Poirier or Poirier or Poirier or whatever, how you say his name, the American. Um, I like that he won. I like that he got the victory because I feel like this dude, 
this Irishman had been talking trash and disrespecting people's families. And, and so when you do stuff like that, you got to get that work. So him getting that work was cool. I hate that, he, that it ended up like that because homeboy was kicking his butt anyway. Like, I thought he was going to knock him out before this. And it was only a couple minutes in, and, I'm, and my heart is about to jump out of my chest because I'm like, he's going to knock this dude out. Like, it's going to be over this fast. This is the biggest fight of the night, and Conor McGregor is going to get embarrassed in front of everybody. So when he stepped back on that ankle and it, and it, and it, it did the tootsie roll, um, I was glad he lost, but I hate that it was like that. I wanted to see a knockout. Um, the UFC is pretty intense, bro. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's pretty fun. Um, seeing dudes get knocked out, women get knocked out, it's pretty fun. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I guess that's a man thing. No harm, no foul. They normally get up and live through it. But watching them get knocked out is is pretty impressive. And, and then you then you get respect for people. Then you get respect for the game. You're like, dang, these dudes really going in there throwing blows. Like, they hanging in there. And the O'Malley guy from Phoenix is pretty cool, man. Um, I got to – Check him out a little bit more because I don't really like the the sponsor people who are too crazy outside of what I think is respectable behavior. But O'Malley is probably one of the top fighters. I think that he a bad dude. He beat this other guy. That guy didn't block now one punch. He just was taking shots to the head. But anyway, this video didn't have to be long. I just wanted to tell y'all just that quick experience about me meeting Donald Trump. I'm, I'm very appreciative of uh, Donald Trump giving the time a day. I think he's an incredible guy. Um, and that's that's the end of it. If you don't like Trump, too bad. Go cry a river somewhere. But uh, I, I really respect Donald Trump. He's been a, he's been the goat in my personal opinion. And I hope to sit down and smoke a cigar with him or something like that. I don't know if he smoked, but one day I hope to have a more meaningful conversation with Trump. Uh, but I definitely can take what I get. But anyway, love you guys. Comment and tell me what you think, man. Give me a thumbs up if you support Trump and, and that you think that's cool that I had an opportunity to to, to go and meet Trump and take a selfie. Um, 181,000 likes, which is a lot of likes for, for, for my pictures. But I think people all share the same sentiment that that's pretty cool. But anyway, love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.